No woman who's worth her salt, having once put her hand to the plough, will ever turn back. But then Nancy Astor wasn't one for turning back, and to mark the 100th anniversary of her becoming the first female MP to take up a seat in the House of Commons, Great Western Railway have named one of their new express trains after her. And who better to unveil it than her granddaughter, Emily Astor. She paved the way for other women. She gave them the, hopefully, she gave them the confidence to follow their own ambitions. And as if it weren't cool enough to be talking to the granddaughter of one female trailblazer, let's throw in another, Dr Helen Pankhurst, great-granddaughter of Emmeline Pankhurst. It's a celebration of a wonderful woman, the first woman to actually sit in Parliament, that bastion of male power, um, but also a lot of what she stood for feels so relevant today, so it's the link between the past and the present. But taking up the seat was just the start. Nancy had to put up with hostility and bullying within the House of Commons. And like many female MPs today, she was trolled by critics. It's not easy being the first. She sat there in that house of men who didn't want her for two years on her own. And her greatest legacy for me is the fact that she actually stuck it out and she sat it out. If she hadn't, it may have set the cause of women MPs back by a decade. The train journey ended in Plymouth and a statue unveiling by someone else who knows her way around the House of Commons. I'm honoured to be here today to unveil this magnificent statue. But with only 32% of MPs in the House of Commons being female, what would Nancy have thought of where we're at 100 years on? I think she'd be happy that we've come this far, but I think she'd probably think we could still go a lot farther. She would be the first one saying, yes, honour me by all means, but remember that the work's not finished yet. Vote, vote, vote. It certainly isn't, and let's hope it won't take another century to get there. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.